Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode from Kratzberg. How are you guys doing today? I do hope that you are feeling fantastic. I know I am. Today I have an episode just packed with goodness for you guys. Also, there's a little bit of a special twist in the end here. The last building that we are building today is not furnished because I want you guys to come up with what we're going to furnish it as and I want you guys to name it. So that's a like a small competition I guess for this video here so make sure to go down leave a small comment with your idea and the name of your idea if you wanna help me out and also get your name in this town right here which is pretty cool the first building we're doing today which is this tower here is a part of a brewery you want to check that out the interior is pretty sweet I'm very happy with how it turned out uh, and it all works as a way to encapsulate a backyard of this area here that I just found very very atmospherical. As you can see here from the beside or behind the actual city wall here it kind of towers over everything which is just very nice to have something to divide up the, um, the skyline of the city in a way so that just makes the whole town come more alive and the small building we're doing right now is an extension to the brewery which is actually where most of the brewing would be done and also storage so as you can see it's just a small wooden extension with a small stone foundation which just acts as um, an extension to the actual brewery here and then we decided or I decided to go ahead and just landscape for hours in this place I had so much fun and I actually had some extra time on my hand this week to just sit down and just focused a lot on doing the landscape, doing trees, bushes, layering and I'm so happy with how this area here turned out. So I'm going to show you that later in the video here. Then we're doing another build here next to it which is going to be a chandler or a candle maker if you want to. And we're going to have a small apiary in the back where he collects its wax to create these uh, candles and also do a whole mechanism down below so that is also something I had a lot of fun with doing research and trying to figure out how they actually would make um, candles back in medieval ages so that is always fun we also decided to add a unique wooden extension to the front here like a bay window just to break it up from the rest of the buildings in this area right here in the back here we are doing a small wooden hut almost which is going to act as a secondary Chandler or just a way or a place where the Chandler could make um, candles when he doesn't want to do it inside perhaps when the weather is nice uh, or he just want to do it somewhere else and it's also going to act as a storage where he will be hanging up his wax candles so they can dry and shape up which is very cool here you can see we're doing all this building here in the live stream or the time lapse I'm sorry um, this is a small working area right here and next to that we just have a space for a lot of candles to be stored which uh, yeah is just very nice like that and also working a lot on the outside here as you can see just really creating a great atmosphere the last building we're doing today is a built on a diagonal which you know I hate doing them but I love how they turn out in the end this building is what I want you guys to help me out with because honestly I was like what can I do here uh, so I decided to just leave it for now let you guys decide what we're going to do here So leave a comment down below if you have any ideas what we can put in this house here It's gonna make sense. It's gonna be realistic um, And you can come up with a name for this just so we can bring the community more together guys So do that if you have any good suggestions and like the comments if you found someone with a great suggestion as well To make it easier for me to see if there's anything good guys so let me just finish all of this here and I will meet you in first person so that we can take a closer look at everything. I think the view from here is pretty nice the way you can see this. This part of older houses and just meeting up with the rest here. Uh, I should get rid of those city walls in the back there actually. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that soon. Um, so here we can see like the main features here And there are a lot to take a look at today. We do have this tower here Which I just like how it towers towers above everything and just yeah makes the skyline a little bit more unique And then we have the two buildings next to it Which also just nicely seamlessly just fits together there. I love how that looks um, Yeah, we also did the unique way of getting up to the second floor of 
the middle building right here. As you can see, there's a big stairway on the outside leading all the way up, which I found is super interesting. So let me go down here and just show you uh, the house that we are, I want you guys to come up with a, an idea for. Just so we have some time to think about it. Uh, it's this building right here. And this is going to be furnished by your idea here. Uh, inside it's just open up and we will of course uh, work with that as we go. So let's go out or go ahead here and check out the brewery first. So this is a tower brewery. Uh, because of the tower and it's kind of built into this tower perhaps the tower was used for something else in the in the past I don't know and they just kind of uh, Reuse it I guess So I think we'll start by going up here Which um, goes up to this part here the tower brew and you can also go further in and then into this other build We're gonna check that out later uh, in here We have some distillation going on some of these ovens and some pipes and you know this yeah, this dealing thing. These are not only making beer and ale, they're making stronger things as well. And they're kind of known for having... Oh, hello there. Uh, for having some of the best drinks in the Krasberg city. So it's kind of a high standard brewery, this one here. Up here we have some kind of office where some of the chiefs, I guess, would sit here and discuss and kind of, uh, you know, work on economics and stuff like that. And then all the way up here we have the tasting room with a beautiful view here and then some exclusive bottles of whatever these guys are making maybe you guys have a good name for it maybe we should call it something unique like not champagne because that's from France and not cognac because that is also from France the city of cognac or the area of cognac so maybe you have some, some good suggestions there uh, but yeah generally like this room here nice detailed wooden ceiling as well um, so yeah, just kind of setting the standard here, making it look a little bit high class. And uh, let's go all the way down here again. Here we can go out to this wooden extension, and here we have a lot of ale being stored. In barrels like this, a lot of them. Uh, we have a crane to raise and lower these up. So as you can see, we can take them up from down here, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Which is where we make all of this. So what we can do is go out here again. And go down this ladder here and go through this gate here. I love this gate. Uh, wooden and stone and just combined together I think it looks very nice and it just connects these up and it just breaks up a little bit of the infrastructure as well here. Down here we have more ale. This is below the tower. Uh, in the basement here we have some more just ale being stored here. Looking pretty fancy with a nice uh, vaulted ceiling here which is always good in medieval buildings. And then we'll have this small back alley here, which leads to the buildings we did last episode, over here. Uh, and it also, uh, you know, we have a tree here, we have a small swing here, you can use, that's awesome. Um, and then another gate leading to the backyard of this area. Here we can enter the downstairs of the brewery, uh, where we have some big distillation of, or furnaces and just creating all of this. I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible, but it's kind of tricky. So we have some pipes going all over the place. We have some barrels been filled up, uh, another barrel, and then we have a crane to raise them up up to the storage above us. And we have like some ingredients and stuff. As I said, it's kind of high class uh, goods this right here. So you want to have some special ingredients to uh, to get the proper taste here. All right. Um, let's take a small look in the back here. Uh, we have the apiary here. We have some nice trees, some more storage, um, a small vine or ivy just climbing up here. We have, yeah, the apiary is very simple. It's just these beehives on some supports, and then we have some flowers around here to to let the bees have something to feed on, which is always nice. And these are supposed to be wax, uh, so it's kind of uh, carrying the wax inside. Which gonna, we're going to take a look at that as we go as well, but in there there's a chandler and also here we have a simpler chandler where you have this oven here to heat it up and you would stick it down here or yeah, uh, put it in this cast here to create these beautiful simple wood candles right there. Uh, so yeah, very simple stuff. And there is also some storage here 
uh, just trying to make it look like uh, there's candle being made here. This is supposed to be wax that has fallen off, dripped off, and just kind of hardened on the floor here. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And then, of course, a small barrier here to separate from the back of this building right here. So this also leads to the city wall. So there is uh, just a small little staircase going up here up to the city wall here which is pretty nice so this can also uh, we can go through the channel here we're gonna take a look at that and then go upstairs and take a look at the building here we're gonna go in here uh, here we have some more candles just being yeah drying up here uh, and some more wax stained wax we do have some storage in here more candles hanging and then just some storage with wax and tools and stuff like that and then we have this big basin with floating wax and then we have this mechanism here um, which is something I did a little bit of research on and then you will be kind of using this uh, rope works here to lift and lower these different platforms and then allow the, um, the wax or these ropes here to get into the wax and be covered in wax and then kind of become candles if that makes sense um, so yeah that's pretty sweet I love oh hello I love how it looks um, yeah it really works this is supposed to be floating wax. We have some more wax just stained here. Maybe I spilled some. Yeah. And then we have just a small little desk here to buy them up. And you can buy like other stuff here as well. And then we have this uh, little bay window here looking over just to attract some customers and get a nice view once you're working here. So that is pretty much it for the, um, the channel down here. But of course the channel gotta live somewhere. So we can go up this staircase here, which we just went up, and further up, then we have a small balcony here. It's gonna have a nice view over the town, and we can go in here. We have a small kitchen right here, a small furnace. We do have enough cupboards and stuff to to uh, give you some food and all you need to create food. Um, barrel of water in case you need that, and then we have like a living room. So here we have sitting areas. We have a small sitting area to play games. Um, some beautiful views over the backyard and yeah just overall a cozy living room like that we can go upstairs there is more stuff happening as you probably would have guessed so a few bedrooms here one small one there another small one right here and then we have the master bedroom for the parents right here with a little bit of a view as well uh, from here we can also access the attic which uh, just some storage, you know, very simple stuff. So that is all pretty much for the buildings for today, which uh, I'm very happy with how they turned out. So let me know down below, guys, what you think of this, and if you have any good suggestions on what we can do with the final house that we didn't furnish in the video, um, the red one over there. Let me know, guys. I really want you guys to help me out, and uh, kind of thinking of doing this more to bring you guys more into the project and let you guys take more part of this. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.